Hey kids, today I'm making a video by request. Had a couple of guys wanting to know how to set the parking location uh, in their Masso controller. So let's get right to that. Shouldn't take long to figure this out. Okay, first things first, home your machine. All right, and come over here, and if your X, Y, Z are not already zeroed out, just go ahead and do so like that. Then we're just going to jog it and move it where we want our parking location to be. And we'll say that right there. So what I would do, come back here, write those, the X and the Y, Write those down, because you're going to need those for the next step. All right, and now you've got those written down. Go over to your F4, Tools and Offsets. Go down to the bottom, and you'll see Parking. Double tap it. And this is where you would enter the numbers that you had just written down in the previous step. you got your X offset, your Y offset. Enter those numbers in there. You can give it a name if you want to, like I did. Hit save. Boom. Then your CNC knows where to park. How cool is that? Okay, now we're in VCar Pro. Let's uh, go up here to Machine, Post Processor Management. I'm just going to open the one that I'm using now that I did on the previous video. So you just highlight it, come over here, click that, open file location. And after an hour and a half, it'll load up for you, maybe. Yeah, there it is. Okay, there's mine, the G30. And once you have set your parking location on the Masso controller, only thing you have to do is add this G30 command at the bottom of your uh, processor code. Uh, I put mine right above the M30. That uh, the M30 is just what shuts everything down. Your spindles off, uh, vacuums off is through. Uh, so right before that is when you want to park. So you're going to put this G30 command just like it's shown right there. Then once you get that in there, go back up to the top and just save. Don't do save as, because if you do save as, it's gonna to try to save, it will save it as a text document and that won't work as a, as a post processor. So cancel that. You just come up here and just hit save. Boom. And then X out of everything, X out of VCarve, then bring it back up, and your new revised post processor should be in your list over here. Right, let me get out of that. So let's just pick something here. All right, and there you can see there's mine, my G30 version. And I still have others too, like there's the original. We know that's the original because it does not have the pencil icon out beside it. Anything with that icon is a file that has been modified. It's been edited. So there's the one I use daily. And that was just one I demonstrated with yesterday. And there's the original. Just choose your new one. And save your toolpath from then on. And it will save future tool paths with the new post processor in there. Uh, and you may want to check it uh, first couple times you X out of VCarve and then come back in the next day to start it up. Just glance over there and make sure that you are on your uh, post processor that you're wanting to use. But mine has been there uh, 
after having the computer shut down overnight, come back, bring up VCARB, and it's there. So uh, good luck to you, and I hope this helped you. If you have any other questions, let me know. If you have uh, video requests, let me know. I'll do the best I can. And please give me a like and a subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. See you next time. Blah, 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 blah. This right here's a test. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit.